a big update's coming to Windows 10 that's gonna change PC gaming forever. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Brobot. Brobot is a free, super fast program that scours the internet searching for restocks of the latest GPUs, CPUs, and consoles to help you find what you're looking for before it goes out of stock. Thanks to Brobot, I was finally able to purchase a PS5 due to its extremely fast speed and in my case, I noticed it was actually minutes faster than all other popular bots I've tried. So if you're looking for a tool that can help you secure that new GPU, CPU, or console, be sure to click the Discord and Telegram links in the description below to find out more. Alright, so before we talk about this big Windows 10 update, we first need to talk a little bit about PC monitors real quick so we have an idea of just how important this update really is. So if you take a look at typical monitors that you can purchase right now, you'll notice that they all have one thing in common. They're pretty much all LED backlit LCD displays. And while there have been improvements to LCD technology over the years, not a whole lot has really changed for quite some time now. That's where HDR comes in. HDR, or high dynamic range, to make things really simple, is a set of standards that determine the amount of color and brightness a display can achieve with the highest certification, HDR1000, being able to achieve 1000 nits of brightness, which is much higher than the traditional 250 to 350 nits of your average monitor, local dimming support for better contrast ratios, and 10-bit image processing instead of the typical 8-bit, leading to a much brighter image with a wider range of available colors. HDR has actually been around for a little while now and has just recently started to pick up more mainstream adoption as more games and various media add support for it. However, support has still been very slow and HDR1000 monitors are still very expensive, which has led a lot of gamers to not actually pick up any HDR1000 monitors as it simply really hasn't been worth it up till now. However, I believe all that's about to change as Microsoft just announced a new feature coming to a future Windows update called Auto HDR, which according to Microsoft is going to add support for HDR to 1000 plus DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 games without any developer support needed whatsoever, which is absolutely crazy. Now, this actually is available right now if you do want to try it out. It's over on a developer channel, so you have to sign up for kind of an early access developer edition of Windows 10, which by the way, don't worry, you can roll back from it to the uh, regular version of Windows if you do it within 10 days. However, do be warned that if you do decide to check this technology out, um, if you have a motherboard that has, um, I believe, Realtek Ethernet, if you don't have the the latest drivers, you may have some internet issues, and then on top of that, if you have a 144 hertz display right now, uh, for whatever reason, it really only supports 60 hertz or 120 hertz. Uh, so if you aren't running uh, like 120 hertz and you try to run 144 hertz, it's actually going to lock your games to 60 frames a second. And I'm sure there are some other bugs in it right now. Of course, that's why it's kind of a developer edition. But if you do want to try it out, it is available right now, and it's absolutely fantastic. It actually works way better than I thought it would. Of course, I did try it out myself, and I was absolutely shocked by how detailed it was. You know, I was expecting it to be kind of a crude implementation of HDR added to games, but you know, uh, from my experience after trying out Auto HDR on an HDR1000 monitor, I'm actually really surprised by just how good it looked. In fact, I really couldn't tell the difference between, say, a natively supported HDR game versus the Auto HDR that was implemented just, you know, automatically by uh, Microsoft themselves, which supposedly does take a little bit of GPU power to run it. I didn't run any numbers to find out just how much GPU power it used, but to me, it wasn't really noticeably less performant than just running the game without HDR, so it's probably not a huge uh, impact to your frame rate, but keep in mind that it may have a small impact. But again, um, you know, taking a look at these older games such as, you know, uh, the Halo Master Chief Collection running uh, Halo Reach or Battlefield 4, I was shocked to see just how good the HDR looked in these games. And for those of you out there who are maybe uh, thinking about purchasing an HDR panel or you already do have an HDR panel, this is absolutely going to change the game for you because it's definitely going to make HDR worth it. Right now, there's a huge problem with a lot of games not supporting HDR, which really doesn't make HDR worth it for a lot of gamers, but, you know, if pretty much every single game out there just automatically gets HDR support, yeah, it's definitely going to be worth buying an HDR monitor, and if you are looking at purchasing a new monitor right now, I would definitely say that um, if you have the budget for it, I would shoot for at least an HDR600 monitor. If you can get a 10-bit panel, I would definitely do that as well, uh, and if you can swing it, I would try and go for an HDR1000 monitor, but again, those are still very expensive right now, um, but, you know, with a lot of gamers starting to adopt HDR 400 and 600 monitors and with the price coming down on all these various different monitors and with it being implemented in a lot more games and media right now I do expect the HDR is going to absolutely take off over the next one to two years here and this auto HDR technology will be available in a future update hopefully a little bit later this year and it's probably going to be available very soon to say a beta version of a future version of Windows if you don't want to go through the headache of dealing with the bugs that are currently in the developer edition so yeah I'm very excited for this auto HDR technology 
I think that this is possibly uh, the biggest improvement to visuals that I've seen in PC gaming in all my time playing games. I mean, over the last decade, I can't think of a single technology, you know, including ray tracing, including a bunch of various different graphics options that makes the, a difference quite as big as HDR does on a HDR 1000 certified monitor when it's properly implemented into a game. So yeah, this is super exciting stuff. I can't wait for this to start to take off. And yeah, if you're thinking about purchasing an HDR monitor at this point, I definitely would get into it as it's starting to become a really, really awesome feature that's getting added to a lot of games. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that HDR is finally worth it or do you think that it's still just too expensive? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.